Uh, hi everybody, welcome back to the Alba Smiling Faces podcast. Uh, Question and time. answer this week. Straight in there, neighbor. So we've got no match to, to review. Yeah, we haven't lost then. We we'll haven't lost one. We we'll haven't lost one. We've two weeks in a row. I'm lost. Yeah, two, <laughs> two weeks. I that's, that's a good shout. To be fair, we're we're still at the top of the mountain at the minute with the the win over Man United. You forgot there for a minute, didn't you? It's that long ago. I didn't. I didn't. I, I'm actually still pretty. Uh, tough one coming up this me? weekend. Well, tough one coming up this weekend. But I think they're all difficult to be honest. It was great going in the international break with with that win behind us. It was. Was. So you said in the last one that you would prefer another game straight away? No, Were not you? necessarily. No, I, I, I don't. Oh, actually, maybe I did. I'm sure you did. Well, I don't know if it was straight away. I didn't mean like play Monday. I didn't mean that. No, I, I mean, mean like, like, like the following week. Oh, let's have another game straight away. Um, <laughs> Stay on, lads. Stay on. Right, Go on again. Go again uh, <laughs> Reverse fixture. Um, yeah, I, I just feel that sometimes. I mean, I, I think I mentioned that Rafa always said that to finish. You know, on a win and then break up for a national break is really good because everyone goes away with a great feeling, blah, blah, blah. Um, for me, it wouldn't have been bad having another game, I think, coming up rather than having a having a break. Yeah, cause... carry that confidence yeah, from exactly, the yeah. win and the performance. What happened, like, Almiron got sent off a dive or something, so his confidence is shot, I would imagine. Yeah, I think so... there's still a little bit of confusion with that well, one. Well, maybe he didn't dive. Because whatever. But... Uh, initial report said he, he did dive. Then the next one said it was a, a second booking for a foul. foul. So uh, I, I, I don't, I don't, I yeah. So I think majority of people were saying it was a simulation. So yeah. so yeah, we'll we'll go with that. He's got form. Did you watch the England game? Which one? I watched the one uh, the other night, the, the most Bulgarian. recent one. I didn't watch. The, yeah, I watched the Bulgaria uh, game. I didn't watch that before. But I think we've got a question on that. Oh, cool. So I uh, will start with the first one I've liked. So this one comes in from Rafa Facts. It says, "What do you make of the honest admission by Bruce?" That we've had to go back to last season's formation to get results for Spurs and Man United. After him trying to change us at Norwich and Leicester, in his words, didn't work. Surely that's a worry long term with Bruce. No. <laughs> so the way I'm thinking about that is, we've got to remember, managers have the full pre-season to get formations, new ideas across. What did Bruce have? Two weeks? He didn't have long. But the, the, the top and bottom of it, he came out and he and he did say that, obviously. The, and, and we, we've we said it ourselves, they're used to playing. They've played that way for, mm-hmm. for what, three and a half seasons now and playing exactly the same way. You can't come in overnight and, and massively change the, the way they play because they don't they don't know how to do it. They've got to, they've got to have time to adapt to it and stuff like that. And it, it's difficult when you obviously got the the games that we have to be able to to, to spend that time adjusting your game plan and stuff like that so you, you do have to go back to to, to what they know do you think um, it was wrong of them to try and change it as soon as you came no, in no absolutely not but what, why wouldn't you as a, as a manager you come in with your with your own beliefs of what you want to do how you want them to play and all that kind of thing um, and to be fair we, we, we probably all would have liked to have seen us play a bit more at free flow and attacking football um, have uh, we got the players to do it? No. I think that's a, my point. Then, is that I, I, I thought that um, <clears throat> I thought that Rafa, uh, for all he's always been a defensive-minded manager. I, I do think that I don't think he wanted to play that way necessarily, but he realised that it was the best of limited. what, what yeah, we were doing. Yeah. That's fine. However, I did think that when we got a new manager, oh well, we might now start playing a different style of football. We've perhaps tried that. I I, I don't think you can just. You can't really try to change something in one week. Yeah. Like, because for me, the Arsenal game was very, very much like I had seen last season. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It was quite similar. Whatever we did try in Norwich, of course, didn't work. I get that completely. It was terrible. But you can't really just work on a new formation in one week and then go, right, that's it's Saturday. Let's just go and do what I've said all week. It doesn't really work that, that way. What I would also say, though, is I've realised that actually the players just aren't good enough to, to, to be a possession-based team or whatever, uh, which, is, which is annoying, but it is what it is. Um, the other thing for me, Rafa's the best manager, one of the best managers in the world, mm-hmm. no doubt about it. Probably the best we've ever That's had. That's the reason why he goes through UEFA managers meeting every single time to go away. He's, the guy so he's is, up there with the elite. It's unbelievable. So, personally, if I had to come into the role, I would have just said, whatever. I'll get fat and grow goatee and wear Carry on. I'll just do whatever it is that's been happening the last however long. And I wouldn't change a thing. Honestly, I wouldn't change a thing. Whatever time they had breaks, whatever they had for dinner, everything stays the same. 
Yeah, you, you kind of do that. The well, maybe you can't, but, but going into it, you can you can carry on how it was, then if slowly Steve, change if, things. If Steve Bruce, let's be fair, I understand you're saying that you can. I can understand why he's coming and thought I'm going to change it. If I'm Steve Bruce, I'd say, "Fuck hell, I'm Steve Bruce." Like, I, I, I'm not going to. I shouldn't ah, be coming in there and going, "I'm going to change it." He, he's obviously right got like, self belief in himself of what he he can do. Obviously, the way he talks himself up and the the job and all of that kind of thing and. Uh, he believes he is a good manager. And that's fine. You, you've got to have that sort of belief yeah, that, as, as a... John Gorman had that as well. In that position, yeah. <laughs> have you got the ability to back it up is another question. Yeah. Um, I, I, but from, from afar, if, if, you're, if you're Steve Bruce and you're coming and go, right, <clears throat> um, Rafa has played this certain style of football in within, as we've touched on at the start there, within what? He was, had pre-season for about a week. I think you joined the West Ham like game in China. Weeks, was in China. Yeah, it was like two weeks, yeah. wasn't it? So within two weeks in his was mind... one game in... No, two games, no. You watched one game in China in the stands, and I think he West took Ham over the next game. Yeah. yeah. Then he had the one home game. Yes. Back, I think. That's right. Yeah. 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 I might be wrong, but I'm sure it was only two games that he was there in the dugout. I might. I might be well, wrong. I, wrong. Well, he, he played uh, was either Hibs or Hearts. Didn't know. Well, how about? Yeah, it might be and two then, once they got back from yeah. China. And then we played the one at home, didn't we? Yeah. Against the Bushes team, at the end. Yeah. 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 Um, and he obviously changed formation. He wanted to play three in centre midfield or two in front. Yeah. Which was never going to work. But anyway. Um, I just I just feel that when you've when you've only when you've come in so late on, I just think maybe it's probably best to stay, for now stay yeah. with what the players know mm-hmm. rather than come in and say right lads we've got two weeks till the season kicks off I'm gonna change formation Alan runs now a striker I don't know you, you could actually flip that round because because he's been quite negative there uh, but you could flip that round and say you've got to give him credit for coming out and saying maybe it was a bit too early maybe we should have went back to things that way. well I, I said that uh, no matter what he, what Bruce says or does he just gets wrong. No matter what it is. So everyone kicked off when he said that. I, I don't think that... The, what was his exact words? He said something like, the, basically, the players aren't good enough to play the way that I want them to play, so I've reverted back to how they do. Is that correct? How, how, how long they know lights. to play. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What is the fucking problem with that? Like? He's basically saying that what we've just said, that he's played this formation for the last three years. So, so It's a, it's a slow like, process to change. It's like, if you go into work every single day of the week for three and a half years and you do exactly the same job, and then the next day you turn up and say, right, I don't want you to do that job, I want you to do this one, but you don't have any training how to do it or anything like that, you've just got to get on and do it. Yes, you'll be able to pick it up slowly and make the changes and adapt to it as you start to get it, but it's when you start getting a little bit of training on it, somebody watch somebody doing it and all that kind of thing, then it comes to you over time. You don't just start a new job and just bang, there you go, you're straight into it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the same kind of thing, but it's... It's easy to to have that opinion with with hindsight because things haven't gone to plan. Well, the one um, thing I'll say about long term, you said something about long term, didn't you, about Bruce? Does it worry long term? It the, the it, what worries is long term, right? And it always has done with any manager, apart from Rafa, actually, was when you start losing games. You know, what I mean, in in a row, you lose three, four, five. Under Rafa, we lost seven in a row. So it was a fucking the biggest in my history. Yeah. Players still seem to have confidence. I still had confidence that we would turn it round. I'm not sure at all, actually, that if, if we lost five, six in a row now, Bruce, that he'd turn it round. You can imagine going down the mm. pod, you're going, Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And that, that's a worry that I've got. But that, that is a worry I've got with anyone who come in the door. Well, mm. almost anybody, sorry. Um, but Bruce is definitely one of them. So Kevin Monahan sends in, uh, which one of the reported players do you think we should give new contracts to? And who do you think we should let go or sell? So the report of players, I'm sure that the long staffs are in well. Matty's definitely in that one. Matty's well, I see Sean, yeah. see Sean um, can't agree one at the minute. So I read the day. Really? So I'm not saying it won't happen, but they said it, that he's struggling to agree one. Why that is, I don't know. Length or something, I'm not sure. But, but I'm assuming it's because he's not on <clears throat> that much and obviously he came into the team last season. You'd think he'd be asking for something like the likes of what Shelby's on and stuff like that, wouldn't you? And thinking. <sighs> Depends on how he's judged. If the, if the club is saying to him, listen, we are... Building a team around you, we mm-hmm. see you as our number one centre midfielder. Gives the money then. Yeah. I'm afraid that's the way that we're at. I'm, I I know you side and in case of call, we're giving him all this money already, but that's football these days. Like and you, you've got to, you've got to look at who you're next to on the pitch, and if Shelby's well, he's not even on the pitch. No, he's no, sitting no. there picking sixty, seventy thousand up a week. But, but Shelby's got like nigh on ten years on him in in the I game know, at, a, at a, high, the high level. Has, has he's, he still, he's, much he's still he's still a young unproven that? player in the grand scheme of things. His agent must, if it's Lee Johnny the talking, they must have said, by the way, when my United were linked with her, this was kind of what them offered. Yeah. yeah. So I want that. 
and uh, how what, what I don't know what it is. I'm just saying it mm. be a hell of a lot more than he's on now. Yeah, 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 of course it will. Mm. But it's so got to be, and especially how the club like publicises the whole thing around his local lad and all that sort of stuff. That's got to come for something because they're getting a lot of features and publicity from him just being a local lad. I think you've just got to pay him whatever it is he needs. Unless it's five hundred yeah, yeah. well, We've got to pay the kind of, kind of, We'll have to. You kind of just do that because you've got to. What would you pay? You've got to take into account the the rest of the squad, the fact that it 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 could cause issues within the squad if you just say, "Well, kid, that's broke through." And he hasn't even played a dozen games, I think, yet. So would and you give him sixty grand a week? No. What would you give him? Then? Well, considering like our top players are only on kind of that that type of figure. So what did Lascelles get? Felt forty, wasn't it? His, his new oh, contract sells, was sells higher, he's on. He's on. I think he's on about eighty now, isn't he? Nitty no, fuck. I think I think it's Lascelles. No. Yeah, I think it's Shelby then Lascelles. I think Lascelles is yeah. second top. I don't I'm know sure what Joe Lynn or Almiron's on because they oh, yeah, be, yeah, yeah, the new lads. Right, yeah. I was to say maximum. I bet you he's on quite a, a wedge. I should have football minds that tells us, but. I don't know. <laughs> but if I was, if I was Sean, I'd, I'd probably be demanding at least 50, 60. Yeah, yeah. you've at got least. you've got to look at like obviously we don't know what the what the, the, the salary tiers look like in the team but you've got to think right you know somebody that's coming in that is first play, first team player like that that kind of level he, he's not you know one of the best players at, at the the club he's not a big name he's only came through the the, the ranks who is a big probably name? I don't think we've got any <laughs> so you know I, I, I think the likes of probably Cher Yedlin they they probably haven't came in on, on massive amounts yeah, of money. Yeah, but shares quite low. So right, you know what? Yeah. 40, 40, 50 grand. I, I think he'll be on forty. Well, the offer, sorry, it'll be in the region of forty fifty. And I bet he's only on. I'm saying only. I bet he's on ten fifteen grand a week. What's he? Matty on? He's only on. He's on. Is it a week? Nine hundred and fifty quid a week. It was something like where it was making out like two and a half grand a week. That's a month or something. Definitely like that. Mm. It wasn't much. It was around about three grand. That's fine. That's what it should be. You no, know, he's he's on fifty. 50 th- there's there's not many people sitting out there that are on forty, fifty grand a year. Of course, of course. <laughs> but that's you, that, you've got you've got. You uh, expect yeah, that from, played, from a lad coming through. He's yeah, played he two games. Oh, I agree with you. I agree with you on that one. His, his contract shouldn't change very much. No, oh, no, his, his needs to. Um, his or if needs it does to change, change, it goes by appearances. His would his would go into 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 that first team low low down bracket, doesn't it? You probably, week, you probably like put them on a 15 grand a week, something like that. I don't even think that. Really. If you do put them on that, though, it's got to be a short-term contract that then you recess it again. So hold on. So I, well, I there's, nothing, there's nothing to stop them <clears throat> renegotiating the contract. No, no, if he goes on to be before. successful but after a year, two if, years, if, whatever. You, if you're not going to give Sean a certain amount, what are you going to give? If you're saying Matty should be on 15, what's your part on Sean then? That's what I'm saying, 40, 50 grand. But 60s and all. It's too much. Right. That's a big fucking difference, 20 grand. Well, 50, I know. 60, <laughs> I bet you 60 grand a week. I bet you most clubs are paying for that for second string players that are like second well, bench. I agree with what Mark did say though. You don't want a guy doing that route either. You don't. You, you, you give him big money. But that's shit. when your players start pissing off. Yeah, but Sean will stay, man. That, you've got a bit of a look on, on with them too, is that they're not going to carry anywhere, are they? I mean, I'm, sure, but I'm not saying Sean couldn't. I'm just saying you've got that look that it's, it's the badge, it's, isn't it? People, I mean? people are, are getting far too carried away with these two young lads. Like yes, they've they've came in, they've played very very well. I, I've in, enjoyed it, but Matty's played two games. Sean's played what fifteen at the most. I love more Sean like than Matty. I'll be honest. I think I think Sean's someone will have to tie down and build a team. Sean around. looks I like the will. senior player. Doesn't we will, he? but but he's not. He is now. He's only been in the team six, now. six seven months. Isn't he's, he? he's a senior player now. Well, if you, if you think if a woman feels fit, if we're set up, who's the first? So what's the difference between bringing? Longstaff you probably the ranks put him on the and likes. not classing them as a senior player, but bringing Sam Maximum in and he's classed as a senior player. He's came in for a big, big but fee. But just because he came in well, for a big fee, it's not that he's a, it's, he's a senior, senior player. player. Oh, that Longstaff's up there. He's a senior player now. He has to be. I bet he's one of the first names on the team sheet. Uh, yeah, on the team he, sheet now. He will be. I just make him a senior player though. Doesn't he's, he? Yeah, he's, he's a senior player. I, I, I think more senior players, more people that have got a voice in the dressing room. Yeah. So I just asked a senior Richie. player as a hey, player see? that's going to be involved in the squad. No, I didn't. Yeah. I think senior, senior players, players are, are like that little bit older. They've been around the yeah. block. They've got leadership kind of qualities. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, in the dressing room. No, I do think Sean will get there. Like I do, from the things I hear him saying stuff. You know for a fact he could. He's going to be a captain, a future captain, um, possibly. You, you hope that you, if he continues with what we're seeing at the weekend. 
But you just think, go back a couple of games before that, we were sat here saying he was terrible and he needed drops. Yeah, he shot the stars. But, 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 but why, though? But you want to play him at 60 why? grand a week? No, but, but why did we say he was shot? Because you Shelby next to him. No, no, no. <laughs> I, well, we'll, was that not why? We kept making excuses. I was being serious there. I know everyone Probably. did. Kept making excuses. He was one of my sons. I'm sure he was one of Well, he was there's a whole host of things. He was injured. He wasn't back to his fit. At least one of those games was Shelby's fault. Everything's Shelby's fault, isn't it, really? I think it's just. It's it's nice to have the, that that hope in there, but you've just got to you kind of get carried away. Set my expectations that he, he 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 should be getting paid sixty grand a week because he's had a few good games. Well, I think he'll probably get more golden boots than Messi. Would you have said you would have paid after after the first two or three games of this season? Would you have gave him sixty grand a week? Um, absolutely not. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, but and, and that's that's not that's not us looking at as a as well, a businessman. If it meant giving him sixty grand a week to stay. Would you? Yeah. It depends. It depends well, you've what got player you get. You, you base it on, on a couple of facts. I know what you're saying there. You base it on the last few games that he's had. Leicester away. Would you pay him sixty grand? Absolutely not. No. But Lascelles has had more than that, and he was even worse than him. So like, but he's the club where, captain. Where do you get off? You know what I mean? Like from, every, every one of them was shit. You know what I mean? Almer, Almer, you, Almer, you, you look at it, think right. Like, the likes of he's about seventy. I, Isaac Hayden, Manky, or their average squad players. That that's the level he's got to go in. If he does well over the rest of the season, then you very simply go back and say, we'll rene- renegotiate your contract. I'm pretty sure Dummett's only around about 35. Again, because Dummett's came through the ranks, he's he's gone under the radar and he's just put performances and he's gone up and up and up and up. There'll be a one insurance that'll say, right, you're on 35 now, right? He'll not be on that. No, no, no. I mean, he's new, yeah, yeah. right? 35. And once you've played... 50 X games. amount of games that will look at it again. We'll re- 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 look at it again at the yeah. end of the season yeah. based on, on that. Totally. Yeah, yeah. That, and that's the sensible approach. Not just saying we want you to sign a five year contract now on whatever. You know, fine, well, it'll be a five year contract. Yeah. Totally. I think well, it's six. But, but that's that's the thing is, if we, the you not go through five and a half like all the time. It's five and a half. Should still be, yeah. You want to, that, that's what you're doing is because you want to tie him down long term. Of course you do. Well, because it's going to get a bigger fee for yourself. Temper that with the fact, right? Well, how much do, do I need to do? put a buyout clause in there? Standard, isn't well, it? These we, days? we won't, but then will. He's aging. No, no, because like, like even Ashley's came out and said he's learned from that with with different players, hasn't he? He's probably put, learned for him to putting it low, but he like probably put it a lot he, higher. Obviously, put one in Perez's with with that. That's right. Really one as well, wasn't it? Yeah. And, it was, and it's it, yeah. it's a standard thing now. My bar had one, but he wouldn't come otherwise. So the likes of the the players that we've recently signed, say at Maximum, Joel and on they'll they'll all have them in there as well. That because what do you, reckon is? you want to keep a hold of them, but also if they take off, you want them then to command a fee. Next question. We didn't even answer that question. But next question. There, uh, Stephen Johnson sends in. Surprise. Who would you keep? Oh, sorry. Would you keep the same eleven in for Chelsea at the weekend? But you'll have to wait for the Chelsea preview. We're not telling you. Next. You have to watch the next video. <laughs> Francis Marshall says, "Oh, another one. If Matty Longstaff is the answer." What is the question? Mm. Who had a good game against Man United and got everybody in a tiz? Who's your favourite ginger after Salah Black? Jerry Halliwell. Oh, I used yeah. to have fancy her back in the day. Like, was she your favourite Spice Girl? Oh, no, I, I, she was posh. Posh. I mine was posh. Like. Oh, oh, she was ugly here. Oh, posh. No eh? Oh, yeah, she was. Unreal posh. She looked like a... She looks even worse now. She yeah, like she a probably skeleton. Does, yeah, yeah. She probably does. Jerry was fit as hell, man. You know, a Union Jack dress. Oh. Nah, just know for me. I watched that Raining Men video the other day. It came on the telly. Oh, unreal! Wow, unreal! I was like, fuck me. That that was immense. He's like, there's like people like judging her in the hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's not flash dance. It's supposed to be something like that. Possibly, and she's just oh, unreal. Yeah, yeah, ten yeah, out of ten. Yeah. Amazing. Oh my god. Um, what were you saying? That was a question. <laughs> if Matty Longstaff is the answer, oh, yeah. what is the question? Uh, we've got bad midfielders, and the answer's him. To replace the that's, that's not a question. That's, not, just <laughs> that's the reason he played, not a question. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, he doesn't get this game, does he? So what's the question then? <laughs> or do you You've the got question? to make the question. I was trying. <laughs> so the I answer is so I gave mine. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. He gave his. <laughs> yeah. What was yours? What was Who your had a very good game against Man United and got everybody into a tiz? Well, that's the question. That was the question. And the answer is Matty Longstaff. That was shite, that for me. That's your question. <laughs> Bloody true, though. It's a shite question. It's not, it's quite a good question. Sorry, Francis. Don't um, take the. What's he called, Francis Jeffers? Francis Marshall. No, he played oh. for Everton. Yeah, I know. Um, 
So Maddie Longstaff is the question. <laughs> Foxy, I've got question. Now. Chris's is question the was, who's my second favourite ginger after oh, Silla yeah, Black? Yeah. yeah. Who's the best brother? The best Longstaff brother? Hmm. Controversial. Oh, so you think Matty's a better brother? I don't, I don't, did, he not, did he not just not say really before Sean was? <laughs> what do you mean? Not really? <laughs> well, you just said, <laughs> it's your question. You said, come up with a question. I just oh, said, oh, God. What's the fucking problem? Francis, I apologise. <laughs> oh, that's just this nah. ridiculous behaviour. That's my question. Do you want to try again? No, I'll okay. stick with that one, I guess. I'll stick with that. But even though you don't agree with the answer. Probably not. Sorry, no. sorry, Francis. <laughs> we do apologise on behalf of the podcast. <laughs> So James sends in... What? <laughs> Please don't be a question that I need to I go on, this is another one. <laughs> if Sean Longstaff is a good... <laughs> <laughs> he says, <laughs> what has been your favourite ever Newcastle United Football Club season? So your, your favourite season as a Newcastle Ooh. fan. Oh, shall we go... Oh, you're older than us, so you, so you can go way back. No, I don't you? look at the one. How old are you? 49, aren't you? Fucking bastard. How old are you? Uh, actually, I don't know. 40... Yeah, I don't know. 41. Oh, I see. Mine is... Back in the Bobby Robson days. Mm. Champions League. All right. Oh, yeah. Good shout. Yeah. Uh, Inter Milan. Feyenoord. Juventus. Barcelona. Do you know what a game that sticks in my head? I know it wasn't even a big club, but we played Dynamo Kiev and Shiva scored. Uh, yeah. uh, it was an incredible atmosphere yeah, yeah, that yeah. game. Because I think we had to win that one. Because well, I'd lost the first three games. I think that was the second. We had to win the next three. No, no, no. It wasn't Dynamo. It was uh, Zagreb. I was thinking of it when uh, Ketspire scored. scored. Oh, yeah. that was To say yeah. three, wasn't it? Um, yeah, it's a difficult one because... I- I was too young as much as my first ever game that I went to because of the war this year yeah. at home against Bilbao in the UEFA Cup um, I sat next to the away fans and I was only little and they were mental the Bilbao fans, oh, like, Bilbao fans absolutely yeah, yeah. mental um, but, and I remember well, and, where but was I can't, that? I can't 93, remember 94 I think it was, yeah. Yeah. but I can't remember where we finished at that season does that make sense like, I remember going to games and that but I can't remember well, you probably don't appreciate it oh, until no, you're, like, you're it a lot must have been 94, so. 95 because yes, 93, 94 was yes. my first season that's right 94, 95 and you know what it I watched it on some, oh, I don't know, it's on Twitter, like owl football stuff, and it was a, there was like the pre, the pre-match interviews before the kickoff, and it said that we were something like eleven points clear at that time in the Premier League, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then we were playing the UEFA Cup game, and we went three 0 up and in ten minutes, it was amazing. So uh, when we played, but I can't remember, we, we didn't win it obviously, so much to come third. When Janola scored that, was it against that Ferenc, Ferenc, Ferenc Barros? Yeah, that was look. incredible, like. Yeah. Um, that was, but that I, that I'm was actually going to go with him. I'd probably well. say Bobby Robson, like, e- even though ninety five, ninety six was amazing. But in terms of actually living it and really knowing so about it. So was it Bobby Robson season 2003? Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. <clears throat> but I was, we played. It was the season we signed Woodgate, wasn't it? I, which, which Robson bit do you mean when he very first came in and we finished wherever we finished or do you mean when we finished Champions League? You mean the Champions League? That, that Champions League yeah. season. We signed yeah. Woodgate, didn't was we? Was that Fire Nord when we got through scoring uh, Bellamy putting it away? Was that 2003? When we signed Robbie, was I went in the preseason for when he was his first game and he was. I, I was I'll go. Him. I'll go more recent years then because he was gone Got back. Right. So I'll go. The Pardew season. Has to be. I was going to say. Yeah. If you think it's top five, yeah. it's gonna be, yeah. because that it, it wasn't necessarily the season, but the players, man, were some really? fantastic players. That that front three of of Bar, well even four you had Bar CC. Ben Offa and Kabai, it was absolutely fantastic right. that. Like, three out of them. We, we all, I don't know, you almost went into a lot of home games just thinking you'd win. Yeah. yeah. Like, you had ability, didn't you, all over the pitch. Sant almost class at left well, by, well, I thought, at times. Well, I had teams as well. What went wrong? And, uh, <laughs> it went wrong because we didn't reinvest in the summer. That's what went wrong. I bought neither. Yep. Like, we, we could have kept the players, invested... And carried on and pushed, like, even a steady finish and yeah. finishing fifth, sixth, Maybe whatever. Just go on and we didn't. I think that obviously the problem is we, we then got into Europe as well. Didn't it didn't we? help. And it's no, it didn't help. That UEFA it didn't help. That's why you, you invest in bringing yeah, more yeah, players yeah. in. That, that's it. In, in, know, improve the squad size and stuff like that. Get like bringing Nita in isn't, isn't going to. I think did he not play the majority of time at left back anyway? Nita when he came right, in that season, right back didn't he? He was like all all out of the shot, wasn't he? Yeah. He was like the most versatile player we've ever had. But well, Danny, Danny Simpson was there at the time. Right back, there, uh, Danny Simpson in. did. Right yeah, yeah. He, he won so many points that season. Yeah, well, loads of line, he uh, he yeah. got a load of stick as well, Danny, Danny Simpson. Yeah, he wasn't the best at defenders, but he pulled it out of the bag that season. Like. Well, Gabby Overtime was saying, because I remember the first mm. 10 games, I think we had, we had lost. And uh, he bought it. I played every single game, and I actually thought he was all right. But no one liked him, but apart from me. But um, 
Yeah, that was a great it was a great team on it. Well, beat Sunderland away, it was class. Mm. Uh, really, really good. 92, 93 was, was yeah, amazing Ryan Taylor as well. was good, Barton was good. Uh, James Perch, I even like James Perch personally. Sure he was there at that time. But obviously I know what you're saying, you could buy yeah. Teoli is but uh, Demar Bar. Unbelievable. Uh, Absolutely. Like that, that. Ares was good as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah was, Th- those are the players that I think in recent year that got us off PC and thing. Mm-hmm. Like we could go into any game and beat anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Wasn't scared to take anyone on. No, it's opposite. I'm sure scared of playing with Watford. <laughs> <Anyone>? <laughs> oh, no, no, I know. I know. Uh, right, so Neil JR says, who do you think had the best home debut? Right, so this is on the back of, of Aaron's recent video well, where, where he's done the top five you know my home debuts. Yeah. It's harder to bring it into five though when you think about it, to get a top five. I was straight in with my number one. There was no, there was no question. So it was Mickey Quinn. Mickey, Mickey Quinn, Quinn was 100%. number one. Yeah. I, I can't remember it, so it's hard for us to... But it obviously is because of what he did. Yeah. Yeah. But I'd never seen it, did not happen. So, to be honest. was in for a shout, because his home and debut Chelsea. was yeah. oh, fantastic. He burned, actually. He ran around him on the outside of the pitch. M- mine... So he I like think was by the Chicken Cottage against him. I think the three that I agreed with him was, oh, was Quinn, oh, Sissoko and... Uh, Longstaff? Cissé. Was that Longstaff? Nah. Because, to be fair, I didn't really think about that, because it... It had happened so recently. Yeah. And I thought, oh, that was. That'll be one that'll go down. Cece against Villa. It was against yeah. Villa. Yeah. Cece came on, came on as a substitute so. and just brilliant. Sissoko was unplayable. See, I thought John Joe Shelby against West Ham. I thought it was. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that was a shout. That was a shout as well. Was the Brav guy, you mentioned the Brav guy, the Brav guy. Recent years. Yeah. Even go, going back, Les Ferdinand, his his debut when he came in as well. She was against Obviously, he picked mm. Shira. I wasn't, was I wasn't there, too yeah. sure about that one. She was. See, see, it's the only thing I remember. This. You see it one. Obviously, the goal was fantastic. Oh, he hide it in the top corner. Comes out of his Senegal yeah. bands yeah, on. He, but it's the warm up. Oh, he runs he around the back of the goal. Now that you said that, it's just what keeps reminded, on going around the goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Everybody's Shola just, like, laughing has and to that. run out and yeah. bring him and back in because he, he's just going to do laps totally of the pitch. Until you've just said that. Uh, like, that's yeah. the thing that sticks in my mind from that game because I'm thinking, where's he going? He's literally behind the goal at one point. <laughs> then Sean has <Lassie>, come in. Then <laughs> 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 he's on the bench and he's in the top corner. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. It was unbelievable. And it's not just that debut he went on after that. Yeah. that well, that season was blinder, just incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Absolute blinder. So um, Paul sends in, as Bruce seems to favour uh, attack on full backs, obviously Willem's craft often well, further forward point, than the midfield. Do you think Richie's days as a wing back are over? And with Yedlin now fit, will be nailed on as a right back. I, I think obviously we saw it against Man U. It's a no-brainer. You have yet on that right back. Oh, I Will, weeks. W- Will Ems has, has really grown into that role, hasn't he? Like I like Will Ems, a few, yeah. few dodgy moments in his in his first few games, and he's grown into it and gone from there. Um, we can't forget Yedlin. what Richie offers his team. No, no. We can't. The, from a from a person personality point of view and a fight and all of that kind of thing, then. You, Richie's a no-brainer. He goes in there. I, mm. I love him to bits, but he's going to have a, a a hell of a job to get back into that team ahead of uh, Willem's, just based on how he's been playing. How far away from Richie come back? It must be about one month. Yeah, it was the less Leicester Cup game, wasn't it? So <clears throat> it must be. Yeah, he wasn't in training four, the day. Four or five weeks. Said, so him and uh, but he had to have an operation, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, Sorry, he's had another operation. operation after it. Um, just, yeah, was it last, that was last week? Or? I think it's a, it's a strange one because going back to what you said, um, sorry, what I had said, you were about 60 grand for Sean Longstaff. Would you have said that a few games ago? <clears throat> when we got beat off Leicester 5 0, we all sat and went, Pwah, we need characters in the team, we need mm. pitching the team. Yeah, yeah. Then you've beaten yeah. United all of a sudden with them, it's like Roberto Carlos. It, it's, yeah, it's, 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 you know what I mean? It's like, it's a, it's a tough one because well, when you win a game, it changes your perspective on everything, doesn't it? Um, for for me with Williams, I love how comfortable he's on the ball. Mm. Obviously, the goal for Matt he proves that, but not just that. Loads of times in the first half, especially, he's just so comfortable on the ball, willing to have it. Blah, blah. He's a lot better on the ball than what Richie is. Strike against Liverpool as well. You got it's fantastic. His footwork there, Jesus. I just worry that when the chips are down, a bit like I worry about Joe Linton. When the chips are down, I'm not sure whether or not you're going to get. Has he got the heart that Richie? That's got. the only thing yeah, I worry yeah. about. And, and, and if everything's hunky dory and we're, we're playing really well, he'll probably be one of the best players on the pitch. Mm-hmm. But when we're against it, I'm not sure. Well, that's only a show, small sample size so yeah, far. Yeah. That might change over the time. Probably, it's probably one of those things where you got to just judge each game as it comes. I think it's horse, with horses, horses, and horses, isn't it? And see which one you play. I think I'd be happy if just swap them. Like it depend on who, oh, yeah, who exactly. the picture is. 
it, well, you might not play against Man United, but I agree. If you're playing at home and you, or whatever, you need a bit more attacking. You might play with yeah. and if you need yeah. to really be solid like, in the back, you yeah. might do it. Yeah. I get yeah. that, you know, and that's that's the, that's the whole idea of having a squad. I, I would imagine, but then again, is Richie going to be happy to be getting subbed? You know, one week to the next, mm. probably not. You know, well, I mean? he should so, be used to it. Well, used to happen every week. So, Rafa, did, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we've gotten two more from Neil. Neil Jarsins. Uh, do you think Clark is now a better option at centre back role than Dummett? Well, you, again, you've got to go back. To Tottenham gave me his man the match. Away from home, yeah. he was man the match. And Dumb he was it, yeah. tremendous at another game as well. I can't argue it was, he was brilliant. If it was a home game, I can't remember the top of my head. But there was, another, there was two games he had in quite quick succession. Mm-hmm. Spurs, Sp- he was good as well. He was man the match at Spurs. Yeah. Spurs, he was, man, he was fantastic against Spurs. What game was it, man? Fuck's sake. It seemed like he no, was... Get, no, no was the answer. Like, as, as good as Clark came in and played and stuff like that then... He looked steady as well, though, Clark. He did, he did, he did but man, you were shocking. Yeah. That's the thing. It's hard to judge, isn't me, it? Me, all of them. It's, it's hard because I, I keep going back to that game of the tempo that Man United played. That was so, so slow. Yeah. That, was, that wasn't Man United that we played. I'm you telling you now. Watch Chelsea when you've got Abraham and you've got that mount. They're going to be absolutely running right. Mm. And then you might find you might you might be treating by and going, fucking Clark, get him off. Yeah. You know what I mean? I would say you have to go with what we've, them lads deserve another goal. Of course, yeah. yeah? yeah. They deserve another goal. And Clark, and you've I, answered that question. We weren't going to answer. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> but you don't change. You haven't conceded the goal. Like, like, it's only game one fucking conceded. Yeah. Right? So you, you didn't change it. Like, for me, Brighton, but in Scotland, it was nearly. Oh, sorry, it was. It shouldn't have been like Christ. The, th- the thing is, is obviously, yeah. you're playing against players in in Chelsea that have got a lot more pace. Movement. Clark's not a lot f- more movement. Clark's not the fastest. Dummett's not. Does the, he need to be the fastest? But where he's playing. You don't have to be the quickest, no. What the, the the thing I worry with both of them is they're both terrible on the ball. Shocking. He's got such a spade foot, fucking clock. Mm. The amount of times he hoofs it forward and it's just shite. And Dummick every every time Dummick gets a ball, he panics. He doesn't know what to do Dumb with it. Ship, sits in, sits like himself. stop the balls, take a step back, hit it. They're very very similar. That the the tactically pretty switched on. The bravest fuck. They'll head at anything for you. They'll mm. you know the the last ditch tattles. They're very brave. They're very very similar players. Um, clock's, a, clock's a bit more of a threat at the other end as well. So I Dummett, agree with Dummett Dummett yeah, always yeah, hangs around on the Clark halfway line. Like Dummett hits the ball like he's Happy Gilmore sometimes. Oh, he just hits it as hard as he can and just hopes for the best. I sometimes sit there honestly and think, how have you made the great? <laughs> how have you made professional football, man? Honestly, I do. I sit and watch. How is it? Possible? I like it's, how it's is strange because it I'm really comfortable with him being in that that lineup. Oh, I, it doesn't worry I, us. I, 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 but then. When the ball's lands to him, I start to worry. I'm I, thinking, as long as you're kicking the ball away from someone else, I'm happy with that. I do not want to make this a bashing session about Dummett at all. Oh, no. Nah. Because I like him a lot. Yeah. And I, I, I said do. recently that like, he's probably underrated from, from most But fans. there is a reason why we haven't progressed as a football club. And it's players like that. We play Wolves, all well, these teams that progress in the It's because of the I'm not I know, I know, players like I know, that. but I'm just saying. Because people will take that the wrong way. <laughs> you, you, need, you, you need to move on. You, yeah. Thanks very much, Dummett. You've been brilliant for how many years. But now we're going to get a left back in who can really play. No, neither you know of I mean? them would be near the first team for me if if we had other players available. Yeah. Well, you, I think you'd rather have Fernandez. Am I right to think? Or have you come around with thinking that a best left left hand side on that three, or would you just play Fernandez anyway? I'd rather have Fernandez in there ahead of those two. Comment. I'd rather Both, give it a shot. I see, like, see what happens. I, I see the point of having yes, that left yeah. footer player. Yeah. There. I, I um, I'd much rather have the left person, but Fernandez is so damn good. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I bet even he feels a bit hard done by. Even even though they'll probably say to him, the reason you're not yeah. playing is because you're not left foot at all. But even he must go. Well, then he must be thinking, thinking yeah. hang on, we've got Lascelles ahead of us, we've got Shaw yeah. ahead of yeah. us, we've got Lejeune ahead of us when fit. Le- Le- fourth Le- choice. Lejeune is 100 percent the best defender we've well, got yeah. at that club. Well, for that, we think Lejeune's in, be- in in ahead of me. He's, He's got one for <laughs> leg. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, yeah. he, he would 100% be in the team every week for me if he was fit. So right. Neil also says, this one's about with trolley push, has the chafing gone away yet? <laughs> my, ba- my back's still knocking. That Monday morning. <laughs> geez, well, on the Sunday night, I got home and I was covering myself in talc. Putting Ross off friends. Covering myself in talc. Yeah. I was happy. Scan of all that's a scan. That's what I need to do is carry a frigging flag. <laughs> yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Would he wear it? You were like fucking old men. You was that one. <laughs> Go do it twice. How many minutes do you reckon you pushed the trolley? So oh, it, it, I, took no. me, it took me three you're hours totally forty-five. Wrong. You're totally how wrong. How many minutes do you reckon? About fifty. Is it just wrong? Is it just <laughs> you're just trying to see? You're, you're forgetting. We we were there. Ah, um, well, we were there. I never yeah. left. Well, I did leave the trolley for about you ten minutes. Give it to me. Flag, flag guy. <laughs> And, you, and why did you give, you give the flag away, didn't you? They tried to give it to somebody else and you took it? No, the reason someone got rid of the flag because it was fucking hard work. That's why. It was a nightmare. It was soaking wet. Fucking wouldn't stay up. It was an absolute... That, 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 that was an absolute That nightmare. was my nine-year-old son. 
I, no, I also <laughs> give it away because it was a nightmare blessing. Um, no, I, I definitely pushed the trolley straight away from out here. I didn't have to the I had it for fucking my, ages. My son pushed the trolley longer than he did. Bollocks. Absolute bollocks. And he was nine. The only thing he carried was a video. But he still is nine. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, this has been his birthday. Because he is nine. <laughs> so you're fine the next day? Perfect, huh? Your hands I did the green nose. Was, 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 was your hand all right? Oh, the only bit was a bit here, didn't they? Oh. Because that was when you were holding the trolley together that way. But I did the green nose. I was fine. I'm not going to fucking complain about whacking him. So. Especially when you're not pushing a <laughs> All right, we're done. 70 we're done. trolley. We've got another one on Matty Longstaff. <laughs> How much do Matty Longstaff's eyelashes disturb you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, 100%. He's like an albino gone wrong, isn't he? Bless him. He's got albino eyelashes, but with ginger hair. It's it's just weird, isn't it? I'm, I'm not criticising anybody's looks. It's Pro, man, but he is top ginger, isn't he? Top, top ginger. But even his eyes are like a bit... Top ginger. Like he's scared of the sun. He's definitely got a bit of How great was it to see his dad? Like his family in that celebrating though. Unbelievable. Amazing, eh? Absolutely unbelievable. Amazing. <clears throat> but his dad was meant to be playing hockey. He was a hell of a hockey player, his dad. Um, he was, but he didn't go, did he? Because he knew both his sons were playing. Yeah. Yeah. He's a coach. He's a player manager. Yeah, he's a really. <clears throat> so Jordan Morris, your mate. Yeah, yeah. Says, how many points would you realistically say we have a chance of getting out of our next four games? So the next four games are Chelsea, Wolves, West Ham, Bournemouth. None. None? <laughs> Well, say them again. Only one of them's home, innit? Chelsea? None. Wolves? None. West Ham? Away. None. It's away, aye. Bournemouth at home. Really? Yeah. Bournemouth. Yes! Bournemouth. Yeah. Bournemouth. It's only because you said Bournemouth, so they Bournemouth at home. Uh, that so, one, yes. Wolves and Bournemouth are home. Chelsea, West Ham away. I'm going four. That'd be great. That'd be good, that. I'd, I'd like to see a four, probably two. Two? You're just getting two draws out of that? Jesus Christ, we're definitely getting relegated, aren't we? Well, I was going to go one. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ, we're well, in two I'm by gonna, the end of the I'm week. I'm going to be optimistic and I'm going to say four. I four, think we'll, right. We'll, we'll take four. We'll, we'll, tough, like, you know. we'll take four. Bobby Gibson says, uh, would you risk starting Carroll at the weekend? No. no yeah, I agree, no. You're only going to get... Yeah, nah. At the most, you're going to get a half out of him? Yeah. What's the point? So what, what yeah, that basically no. means is well, not necessarily dropping Joe in. He could drop the likes of Almiron and have... But then you're messing about a formation yeah, yeah, again. Yeah. And, and we've, we've seen where that's got us so far. I don't think it's a game that we need to risk Carroll, if that makes sense, to start. Mm. Like, is it three o'clock Saturday? Yeah, this is not the telly. That's surprising. Mm. Like, is that what I thought it was? No, nah, it's not. Three o'clock Saturday. But um, I, I don't know I, what I mean by that. Is Let's say, I don't know. Let's say it was back in the morning scene you had Watford at home. I'd start Carroll. 100 percent I would. But it's Chelsea away. Like it doesn't fucking matter. Do you know what I mean? Like I, I don't it's, think, it's I don't one think of those games that's a write off anyway, so, is, so I, anything's a bonus. Yeah, it's, yeah. I don't think Carl's gonna make any difference. He hasn't got it in him, has he? No, I, I, I agree. The I last agree. the last half an hour, last twenty minutes, yes. You know, because it, mm. it's a different scenario. But I just think starting the game, you, you stick I, with Joe, he's your he's your money man, he's your number nine. You I think I think fans are gonna be shocked if they, they don't think he's been brought in as a big impact player. He's not fit to get a full ninety minutes. He's he's probably not fit to start a game, I would say. So you bring him on, see how the game's going, and that's when you make the decision if he yeah. plays. He might never score, ever, because of, cause of mm-hmm. the time he's getting. But it's still the best impact sub that we could wish for. Yeah, yeah either if, if, you, if you're winning the game, you bring him on just to, to hold the ball up and mm-hmm. waste a bit of time and keep a hold of it up top. If you're losing a game or a draw and you want to get something out of it, you bring him on and lump it up to him and, and hope that we can get a flick on. Get I don't think we'll see him start a game, if I'm like being that. honest with you. I don't think if we'll. If it's a cup game, I think it might. Be. Yeah, but maybe a cup yeah. game, yeah. Maybe. maybe. Well, the only or way there's a, an injury to, to yeah. someone. Yeah, because you've got Muno will be ahead of him starting wise. Um, but then that really does change how you want to play. Yeah, but, uh, it's a whole dynamics, isn't it? It does, yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Right, That's when you so maybe would go to two, Carol and Muno up top. That might, that nice, might be yeah. sexy. Robin sends in. First, he wants to say, keep going with the podcast. It says, great guys. No, God, I can't start that again. <laughs> so we'll cut that bit. Sorry, Robin. So he says, first, I want to say, keep going with the podcast. You guys are doing a great job. Now, my question. He says, he what's your favourite... question. He says, what's your favourite goal so far this season? <laughs> it's got to be one. There's only one. <laughs> oh, actually... Well, some people said Matty's in it, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, because of what it, but you because have to of what it. it is. Yeah. But uh, I don't. Ooh. I was going to say only one. I was going to say Willems, obviously. It's tough. I, but I've then got, I'm the Matty one. I've got two answers to it in a way, so it's quite weird. I'm going Matty. Yeah, I think the best goal is Willems. Yeah, best but, goal. Yeah, but, best feeling. 
but the, the feeling moment, yeah. who he is, Jordy against Man United, that one wins. Does There's that a whole, whole mention of VAR. Did at any point during that goal, did you think of VAR at all? I, I did, yeah, straight did away. Did you? Straight away, yeah. Oh, soon, I as soon as Saint Max and Boston, I was like, fuck, it might be offside. Yeah. question him. I said, honestly, straight, all I kept saying to my dad was, I know we've scored, but it's VAR, yeah, like... I, 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 I don't think I did, I, it's, I can't it's, remember. Watching the goal, I did didn't I think, think, sorry, I didn't didn't think he was like, did offside. You, do you think, can I celebrate this? Or yeah. like... Oh, no, 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 I celebrated straight away now. Then, you, after I thought... But even when I was celebrating, I was like, fucking VAR. Like, I, I was, honestly, I was. And I sent my dad, I was like, I'm worried about VAR, yeah, like... So, yeah. Watch, watching the goal, I didn't think there was any question of it being offside or anything like that. However, the referee was then still... Was in his ear, mm. kind of thing, like thinking. But I was, I know he's in my. I was ninety nine percent sure that he was, he was on side, and that. Yeah. It I didn't even realize uh, Sam Maximo was in the goal until afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he he's literally very, in the goal he until did, yeah. very well there, you know. Was really clever, clever, very clever, really, really, that, really clever. Because they might have given it offside if he. Because obviously, if you look at re- re- like look back at the goal, obviously when he starts celebrating, just Maximo just runs out and he's just in the net. Because you might be getting another, you know, Man City to situation uh, where it gets given offside. Well, we've only scored three goals this season, haven't we? Anyway, <laughs> one of the goals that was Joel, scored. Joel Joel that was a good Spurs. That was a good game with the goal as well. Yeah, that's whose pass was brilliant. But yeah, it has to be Matty for me. Like here we go. Um, I'll go with Matty as well. Yeah, yeah, I'll go with Matty. I'm thinking because we won the game as well. Well, it, it ticked every box, didn't it? Will yeah. Willems really? This is the best, That's best goal. It was a great goal. Like. Probably right, you know, it was really, a great goal. <laughs> best technique. Was it the best technique though? Oh, it was unreal. It had the best skill that to, little, to get. Little skill. Aye, in the, that, the, the skill was bins. fantastic. Isn't the top in? Why? But, I... but Matty hits that with some connection, like. Well, he did, I... but look, keeps he, it on the deck. Looking back, it, he's very lucky. He's it wasn't in the corner. Like, it was in the middle almost. He's that. He's that far away from Maguire's heel. He's that far away from. It doesn't matter, the man. It's got so much pace on that. That's why it's that far away yeah. from them. Nah. It was a. It was a. As you say, if you if you judge it on the moment and the, and the, the feeling and all that, then yeah, it's brilliant. And who the, he is? He's a young goal. kid, Jordy. Yeah. Mm. Everything behind it, but the best goal. Yes. Is money. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Right, everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks to Guillermo Clothing and Jordy Gibbs for sponsoring the podcast once again. You do get discounts on both of those stores. And um, we'll, we'll see you next one. Bye. Ciao.